Hey guys, curl my arms. Welcome to 2024. Okay, so I just realized I have like a lot of wisdom. Like I've studied abroad in Finland and I also been to Japan twice. And the funny thing is I never like posted about it. Like I posted like, you know, like on your private stuff, like private profiles and stuff, but I never like really took the initiative to be like, yeah, let me give some people advice on like what I did. Cause I also solo traveled and I also went with a friend the second time. And the first time was really interesting cause like it was my first time there. So I was going to, let me talk about that. And then let me get to the second time I was there. So first time there, wait, hold on. I think I just graduated high school. Um, I was sad that I couldn't do like my high school exchange in high school. And I was like, dang, you know what? When I get my first stack of cash, um, I'm gonna go there. Cause I was so interested in like in the culture, you know, how, you know, like reading books, learning the language. Language was so cool. That's why I was like, so like eager to like, l like be a part of like the like cultural thing in high school because I was like dang this is perfect time because they're gonna a few Japanese students were gonna go to our high school so like when I missed that chance I was like you know what I'm gonna freaking go there because like I was just so distraught because like at the time I think I was like trying to do like fundraisers so like you know how like you didn't make enough to go it was yeah it was just sucky so when I first saved up cash, I had a job, I think my senior year of high school. And funny thing is, the first thing I bought <laughs> was in the trip to Japan, it was a cell phone. And having that cell phone was really helpful, really motivational. So make sure you get stuff that aids you as well before you like spin a, spin a lot. And the funny thing is that my advice that I'm gonna give you is like kind of like more updated because all the stuff that I was doing is kind of like out of date. So now that I like, recognize like what I did back then is not gonna probably work for a lot of ooh, ooh, my phone's dying it's not gonna work for like a lot of people um 2024 so first things first is if you're looking for activities make sure you go on airbnb the app because you're not going to be like getting a place in Airbnb if you want to. I think I did that the first time. But they also have activities. A lot of people are like, well, if I still solo travel there, what am I going to do? Um, well, before you get there, I would recommend trying to find friends online. Like, I think there was like pin pal sites back then. I don't know how it works, but we have TikTok and YouTube now. I'm pretty sure you can find a lot of people through the comments these days or Instagram. But, um, yeah, I made friends before I went there. <laughs> Makes sense. You don't want to be confused and lost and um yeah just do that if you're looking to not only just do excursions but if you do the excursions on like airbnb you're gonna meet like other americans most likely so don't be afraid <laughs> to do that um a lot of people say it's scary by yourself but girl if you live in the united states you know that traveling by yourself is the like least of your worries um and also being like i'm tall like 5'11". People say I'm 6 foot. I'm 6 foot, I guess. And at the time, um, I didn't really, really, I just didn't care. I was just like, girl, like, I got my cell phone. I did the, like, entered my information on, like, the U.S. Embassy thing, and I was good to go. Um, but now they have, like, air tags, so you can just take air tags with you if your family's, like, worried. So, lucky. Um, Another advice I would say is to bring, like, I, like get an e-SIM card. So, back then, I had a hotspot Wi-Fi. It was great because I picked it out, like, the mailbox I was close to. But now you can just get an e-SIM card and it'll be, right when you land, it works. Like, how cool is that? And if you have the iPhone, you can always message your family through iMessage. So, don't worry about that. Um, another thing is, um, dang, I need to, like, I should have a paper for it in here, but... Another thing is eSIM card. Oh, the price. That's what everyone, that's what everyone really like focuses on too. Is the price. So, um, I think back then, if you buy a ticket a year in advance or six months in advance, it's super cheap. Like, I think I paid like six hundred round trip. But now you can pay like four hundred round trip if you just go to LA. So if you have family members in LA, go there first, stay with them, fly, fly there. Cause that I think there's like a new airline new airlines are which you guys can look into um yeah we'll save you a ton of money so now you can go for four hundred dollars and the only thing you have to worry about is the stay and you can also do a home stay like if you have a friend in japan 
you could just stay with them. Like, there's a lot of friendly people outside the States that will just let you stay with them. Um, so, I think that, like, covers everything. Like, this is, like, legit advice. Like, this is so helpful um, for me. I just said money event in advance made sure i had friends um did excursions made sure i took photos i went to tokyo disneyland um that was super fun and yeah 